a suspect assault with a deadly weapon. That is a different vehicle than we saw per being pursued just a little while ago. Again, dirt roads on and off the roads through the high desert. The original vehicle that we were watching, uh, Ford Explorer SUV, both of the left tires are were um, flattened by a mm -hmm. pit, uh, not a pit maneuver, a spike strip just a little while ago. I'm not sure that's the same vehicle. Well, we want to get some more information now. We do have Officer Kevin Tao on the phone. He is joining us now with more information. Uh, Officer, we've been saying that this is uh, two separate pursuits happening, but can you clear it up for us? There's an SUV and a sedan involved here as well. Uh, no, I believe those vehicles in the back there are the trailing vehicles. Um, they might be the, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. So, so far we've it seen looks like them, we're getting ready uh, for a yeah. pit maneuver. They've deployed uh, some spike strips, and now it looks like, uh, as Sandra was saying, they've, uh, they're have they thinking about uh, doing the pit here. These are pretty uh, desolate roads out there, isn't it? Yeah, these roads here are kind of narrow, so the officer in pursuit here are going to try and do their best, uh, trying to get in better position to deploy the, uh, the maneuver. So this is one pursuit uh, that, that uh, we are following right now, the Sheriff's Department, the chopper also. Uh, Bob, we understand that this was somebody wanted for assault with the uh, deadly weapon. Is that is that correct, officer? Uh, that is correct. That is the information we collected from the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Department. And can you tell us about the spike strips? We heard that two tires were flattened on the driver's side of the vehicle. Is that correct? Uh, that we can see um, f from you know from from television. Uh, we noticed that we we can confirm that probably on the left side, the driver's side, the two tires are flat and possibly they're riding on the rims. And officer, when did this get started originally? We picked it up a little bit uh, into the pursuit already, but uh, when did this get started? The sheriff's department originally had this pursuit started at uh, 11:06 this morning. Wow. Um, the California Highway Patrol took over this pursuit at 11:58. So we're talking about coming up on one hour into this pursuit. The driver has been going on and off the dirt roads. What kind of special challenge does that present to the drivers, to the officers who are in pursuit? Because it looks right, like right now you've got an SUV close in pursuit. Uh, yes, we do. Currently, the, uh, the, we, the California Highway Patrol, we have the uh, utility vehicle that's in pursuit right now. Uh, anytime this type of vehicle, the, the suspect vehicle, is also a utility vehicle, and they do go off-road and uh, pose some kind of uh, challenge for us as well. And, officer, it looks every time the uh, patrol car gets closer, um, the uh, SUV uh, steps on the gas and starts going even faster. Yes, uh, obviously this individual, uh, you know, trying to avoid uh, being uh, stopped by the, the officer on the ground in pursuit. Um, he doesn't want, he obviously knows some of our technique and uh, he just doesn't want us to uh, terminate this pursuit. Have you been able to um, check the license plate on this SUV? Do we know if the, uh, uh, the person behind the wheel is the owner of the car? Is this a stolen vehicle? What are we looking at? So uh, even with us running the license plate, we don't know if this vehicle is stolen. Currently, we do know that the uh, the car did not isn't reported stolen yet. So uh, we don't know who's a, who's the uh, the driver of this vehicle. Um, the only thing we can do is just stay with the uh, the suspect vehicle and hopefully that he'll uh, give himself up peacefully and. Uh, uh, come to a conclusion. Yeah, and so far what we've seen, officer, is that that's uh, not uh, what this uh, driver wants to do. Uh, we saw him going through dirt roads, into fields, hoping to elude um, the officers behind him, but uh, I was pretty surprised to see those um, sedans um, just follow right along. They were able to go through some of that uh, heavy dirt and brush. Yes, those are the, uh, the sheriff's view, uh, vehicles, so um, they, they're able to keep up with the most part. And, uh, Officer Tao, looking right now, you've got that SUV creeping up pretty closely on the driver's side of that vehicle. Looks like they might attempt a pit maneuver. We know that these are desolate roads, not a lot of other people out there. So I would imagine that these are pretty good conditions for a pit. Yes, uh, but even though with the very desolate roadway, we still want to consider the possibility that there may be other motors in the area. And any time uh, the officers in pursuit uh, ha are using these types of uh, technique, they have to consider everybody else's safety, including the suspect's safety as well.
Yeah, we just saw some vehicles pass. It looked mm -hmm. like one was hauling a horse trailer or, or a camper. Mm -hmm. So there are other people out there on the roads, even though we're pretty far out of the city. Again, this is the high desert, the Lancaster area, CHP in pursuit of this SUV you see right there. And uh, these are live pictures coming in. Boy, it looks like you've got officers all over the place out there. And uh, other cars are, are pulled off to the side of the road. Are, are your officers going out, up ahead and giving warning that uh, there is a pursuit in the area? Um, you know what, uh, currently we just, what, from what we know right now is we have two units in pursuit of this uh, suspect vehicle. We have a primary unit and a secondary unit. Uh, there may be other sheriff's department unit further up ahead to, uh, you know, provide security and also notify other motorists of the current pursuit. And officer, you were telling us uh, right around 11.06 is when uh, the first reports came in of this pursuit. Uh, where exactly do you know uh, this started? Was this all in the Antelope Valley? Has this all been happening in this area? Um, currently, what we know is all of this has been occurring in the Lancaster area. Okay, Lancaster. Yeah. All right, so we believe one person in inside that vehicle, the original call came out for a person assault with a deadly weapon. Do, do, oh, live pictures right there. There's a pit maneuver, and it looks like they clipped Whoa. the back of that vehicle off the side of the road, and the driver's going to jump right out. You see him right there wearing a uh -oh. red hat. He looks very agitated, too. Look at that. Hands are up in the air. Walking through a cloud of dust. So again, live pictures, the end of this pursuit, an agitated driver who just bailed out of that vehicle after it went off the side of the road, waving his arms around. Mm -hmm. the officer he looks very angry. He's angry. It looks like he's yelling at the, uh, the deputies, the officers on the scene out there. So tell us what happens now, Officer Tao. They will stay back until the situation's under control. Is that right? What are they saying to him? So basically right now we're giving command to basically hands up, you know, um, just, you know, prone. We want to have them to obey all of our command, like, you know, go down to the ground so that way we can approach him, you know. We also want to make sure that, you know, this person has been reported with the weapon, so we want to make sure that he's not... Yeah, he's running now. He is not complying mm -hmm. with the commands. This guy's trying to get away off into the brush, the side of the road. Again, this is the Antelope Valley. We see the... Uh, CHP officers yep. right up behind him, and he just took off again. Oh, and here we go. He's surrounded. And he, oh my goodness, he does not want to stop. And he's basically he's running his hand tackled, road. and very, he's on the ground. Yeah, very but similar. But again, yeah, still a dangerous but. situation because this is a person who no, no. we knew had some kind of weapon. Well, Looks like they're, they're getting this situation quickly under control, but obviously this guy was determined to get away. He was agitated, angry, and, and yelling at the uh, CHP officers who are on the scene, but you can see that big crowd of officers around him now. They're going to handcuff him. They'll pat him down, make sure that if he does have a weapon, they'll get it off of him. He was running just as erratically as he was fleeing from officers just moments ago. Officer Tao, can you give us an idea from here? Uh, where does this go? Obviously, he's now in cuffs. He's in custody. What happens next? So at this point, um, we already know that he's wanted for failure to yield to law enforcement. Um, and also that uh, we're going to investigate whether or not this is, in fact, a assault with a deadly weapon incident. Um, it just depends uh, who's going to take over custody of the suspect. If the sheriff's department is taking over the custody of the suspect, then they'll do their own full investigation. And, and the CHP, what we'll do is we'll also supplement some investigation of our own in terms of uh, the pursuit and also, um, you know, uh, the, the capture of the suspect as well. Well, the good thing, Officer Tao, is this ended uh, peacefully here. It was quite erratic for quite a bit. We're going to, of course, uh, continue monitoring the situation, bring you any new developments, and, of course, the story behind this pursuit and what exactly happened. So we thank you so much for joining us, Officer. Yeah, Officer, thank you. Boy, that was a wild uh, ending. Usually we see them get out of